Hey everybody, welcome to Moth Posh. I'm Steve Piacenza. And I'm Kathy Fillion, and today we've got all sorts of Easter projects for your dinner table. So the inspiration for all of our Easter projects were these napkins that we picked up at Ikea. We love the colors and thought they were gonna be perfect for our sort of romantic Easter table. Yes. And we just took the napkins literally to our paint bin and matched up all of our full cart paint colors with the napkin. Well, let's show them how this all comes together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, this is one of our first projects that we did. And this is just a simple little glass here that we put these plastic Easter eggs in, but we painted them first with our paints. We have some uh, apple color here and some soft pink. And then what we did is we added the napkins on top of this easiest project. Let me show you. Use your Mod Podge and go right on top of your egg with a nice thin coat. Then with your pre-cut napkin, one layer only, go right on top of your egg and add another layer of the Mod Podge. You're gonna let this dry for about four minutes and you're ready to move on to your next egg. Next is one of our plates. Now this is a simple glass plate that we picked up and on the back of it we have Mod Podged the napkin two ply on the back of it right here. So we put a coat of Mod Podge, put the napkin on top and added another coat of Mod Podge and look at how pretty that is. And as you can see you can't really see through it too much but now you can eat on top of this, you can put any type of dessert on top of this. You wanna make sure that you don't stick it in the dishwasher or <laughs> wash the back because it will come off. It will be a mess. Yes, <laughs> so just sponge wash it on the top and we just added this little gold right around the rim here to give it some extra pow. And I love that like cheese and crackers, if you wanna just have like a little specialty thing, it's super yeah. pretty. So you wouldn't necessarily have to make a whole table full. No. This can be like a really great sort of like Specialty piece. Right, she's cheese and crackers, I'm cookies and cake. <laughs> okay, let's move on to our menu easel. So this is a great display of what you're gonna be eating that night at your Easter dinner. It's making me hungry. I know, right? <laughs> Look at all these, you know. <laughs> we kind of lied a little bit. We didn't really make all this. <laughs> we made the menu itself, but we didn't make all the food. But, so this was a wood easel here. Again, we just painted right on top of that with our color. And then we added the one ply of the napkin, again, oh yes, this side, one ply of this, cut that out, and Mod Podge. And look at how beautiful this looks on top of wood. Again, the translucent coming right through. It almost looks printed, and it's just using, again, our great Mod Podge and napkins. Moving on to our paper mache little party favor here. Painted it pink, green, added some of this ribbon here, and then again with the napkin cut out, we just put that right on with Mod Podge, add a little bit of our Mod Melt. Great parting gift for all your guests, and uh, we added a little bird in there. Again, you can put eggs in here, you can put jelly beans, whatever you'd like for Easter, it's great. And you'll see here we've got our Mod Melts on there, and the Mod Melts are really easy to do. So the first thing you're gonna do to make your Mod Melt is just heat one of your Mod Melt sticks, this is the milk glass stick, in any high temp mini hot glue gun or a mod melter. And then you will just squeeze that into your mold. This is our flowers mold. We thought the rose went perfect with our Easter theme. Just squeeze that in. And that's gonna cool. If you wanna kinda tap it like this, you can. It will self level. And this one's been cooling. You'll feel the bottom and that's cool. You can just pop it out and that creates the rose and then we're ready to paint it. So I'm using some Folk Art. This is Bright Baby Pink Paint. And you just go in and paint it. I like to use a round, loose bristle brush. Just kind of get into all those nooks and crannies. And that's our base coat there. And then if you want to add the highlights like that we saw in our napkin, that is just some of this fire engine red, and this is shiny, and I'm gonna just go right on top. So once your Mod Melts are done, you're ready to glue them to any of your projects. 
you can see that we have this topiary here that we did. It's got our eggs with our napkins uh, Mod Podged on them, and then we just went in and added our Rose Mod Melts all the way around the topiary. We also use them on this lemonade or iced tea holder. We've got one just right on the top as a topper. For the bottom of it, we just use Mod Podge to attach burlap and fabric right there. Super cute, fun way to display whatever drink you're serving. We also use them to make a wine charm. That's just a podgeable back there. You can see that right on there. So simple. Easy. All you do is glue it right to it. <laughs> and then for our Easter banner, we use the rose mod belts all the way across just to be like a little embellishment, like a medallion yeah. right across the top. So we hope we gave you some inspiration on your next Easter brunch. Yep. And you can find all of these project pictures and step-by-step -step instructions at PlaidOnline.com. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.